Hi, welcome to uh, my channel Sailing and Electronics. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the electronics because um, as you probably have already seen the other parts, uh, we are doing series about um, building a power wall with 18650 cells. And today we have uh, finalized uh, the packs and we are going to prepare them uh, for the bus bars. So uh, we are going to solder the positive and the negative side. Uh, how we do that I will show you. Uh, what we have to take care about, uh, what uh, normal procedure, what not. That's something you're going to see in this video. I hope you enjoy it. So this is my um, solder that I have tested. It's the 0 0.8 millimeters, the 1.0 millimeters and the 2.0. The one I'm using is indeed the 1.0. So it's from uh, Kena. It's a Chinese uh, brand. It's a uh, rosin core with 2% of flux inside of it. Uh, although it has 2%, I still need I still use uh, a pen with extra flux to make everything smooth and easy. If we want to do the next pack, I'll have to make a new top just clicking these parts together. It's not difficult. And then we're going to put them like this. Always double check, they're all positives, so you don't have uh, double work afterwards by taking it out again, because most of them are easy to place, but sometimes there are some cells which are more fixed inside these than uh, others. And that can take some time a little bit more force. So what I then do is I take something to really to really put it on its place. So now you can just take this and it will not fall apart. Please do not do it with a conventional hammer. Um, if you break the seal between this and the positive side, then you will have a big spark. So be careful. So first step, put on uh, the ventilator. Make sure the iron has the right temperature. You have the solder. And of course you have your cells. First step for me is putting on a little bit of flux. Twenty pieces. I take my iron. The temperature is at its maximum. So, at to in my uh, case, it's at uh, four hundred thirty. And we'll start. As you can see, I do not heat it long. 1001, 1002, 1001, 1002. I'll place it a little bit closer to the fan so um, the smoke is going inside easier. As you can see, I really try to heat um, the least amount of time possible. If your iron is at the right temperature, it should only take about two seconds. 
of course this is the plus side so it doesn't need um, a lot of power to heat up this little surface if we go on the back side and we start uh, the negative side then you will see that I will not uh, get there with only two seconds but it will sometimes be three to four seconds and also, also I will sometimes have to stop to let my iron uh, get to the right temperature again As for the plus side, I can just go ahead and as you can see these are all nice uh, joints. The next 20 Also when you do it like this and take it step by step you can also see that for example this one is uh, not really clean so I hope it will fix um, when you do them all at once it will be more difficult to remember okay I have to pay attention to that one especially instead now you only have to uh, remember 20 at a time so now it's the dirty one so it could be possible that I will have to solder a little bit longer and indeed but the joint is okay As you can see sometimes I go back when I see my joint was not okay first time. This is not a problem as long as you don't keep it uh, hot too long. As you can see also the joint the joints there are not uh, huge piles of um, solder because that's not necessary uh, for connecting the fuses later uh, or the fuse wire which is even smaller in diameter so uh, that's not a problem next 20 a little bit flux on there And here we go again. You will also immediately see that uh, some cells are easier to solder than the others. Uh, for example, this blue one, it's a rather difficult one. And also, um, I have had some uh, purple ones, which are also difficult to solder. But if you know that, it's not a problem.
Also, when you are soldering uh, the plus side, make sure that you don't touch um, the plastic, the insulation part of the cell, so you will not create any unwanted um, sparks or shortcuts. This is another of these blue ones which are more difficult than the others, but it's okay. Don't forget to occasionally clean your tip so you have a fresh start. I go back to this one because I didn't like the joint another 20 done I was talking about the difficult ones. These four, these are really um, more difficult than uh, the other cells. You will see in a bit. It's also important to have as much contact with um, your iron as possible to make it uh, run a little bit smoother and also faster. See, this didn't work. I have to take a little bit more time for this one. If you feel tired, just uh, take a break because remember, this is, uh, it's not dangerous, it is dangerous, but you have to keep focused and always be sure that you know what you're doing and not just uh, doing it because you are doing it already for hours. So these are the more difficult ones. I'll wait until my iron is at uh, full power. So 430. And only now it's starting to flow a little bit. Okay. 
you can really see these are indeed more difficult but I do not want to uh, not involve involve them in um, in my battery packs because these are 2585 milliamp hours so they're a great addition to the pack as you can see this pack is done on this side we'll take the other side Sometimes this pen has difficulty to start running. Yes, it's running. So as I told the negative side will be a little bit more difficult, you need more power and heat to have a nice joint. I see my temperature is a little bit too low so I wait a little bit 410 420 359 that's why this one is not that nice 400 and now it's flowing I hope you enjoyed this video uh, next time because this was the first part about soldering next time we will solder uh, the glass fuses and the bus bars so we will have a final product we will have one big cell, uh, part of the big uh, battery bank, um, ready to be uh, installed. Uh, or maybe not completely ready, because we, already, we, we still have to connect um, the clamps to it, so we can uh, screw them one uh, next to the other in series. So we have a uh, 48 volts uh, power bank. Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, put a thumbs up. I thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.